Hermit Me Ducks. It's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. Hope everybody is having a great week. Um, it's Friday. I always enjoy a Friday. I'm just going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's nothing nicer than getting home from work on a Friday and being able to have a look at a new deck. This is by the guys over at Three Trees Tarot, which is Stephanie and Adam. Um, Stephanie contacted me to say, would you like an advanced copy, like a prototype deck of their new tarot deck, Heartwood Tarot, which I'm super excited about because I can honestly say um, the prototype decks that they send are of exceptional quality and when I they've been very kind in the past and sent me the actual deck on its release and with the exception of having um the box and perhaps uh, a few other trinklements they might throw in this is just as good quality so uh, of course I was like I'd be delighted to uh, receive a copy because I also know that the quality of their products are just second to none, they're just exceptional. So if you're not familiar, <laughs> I can't imagine anybody um, isn't familiar with Three Trees Tarot. Um, they are the creators bit behind the Oak Ash and Thorn Tarot and Smoke Ash and Embers, which was the dragon uh, deck. This one, um, Heartwood Tarot, is um, and I think I don't think it's going to be out until May. Where are we now? We're in the middle of March, aren't we? I think information is going to go out about pre-orders uh, mid-April, and then I think the pre-orders are going to happen. Or, uh, I think I saw May the nineteenth. Um, but I'll just read what it says on their social media site. So it says Heartwood is a magical tarot deck set in and around an old cottage. An abandoned thing in the middle of the forest left to nature, giving the creatures, big and small, a place to explore. Our fool is a little mouse who journeys through the cards, and unlike our other two tarot decks, there's no set animal for one suit. And the suits aren't obviously elemental. Instead, I took the interpretation of each card and created a world that reflected a feeling. And then they go on to say that we're excited to incorporate human elements into the deck, imagining what remnants they may have left behind. And since I've always wanted to live in a cottage in the middle of the woods, creating this deck is a little like designing my dream home, hidden away in the forest, a bit creepy, abandoned and isolated, but very beautiful indeed. So, and I, I really like that. And Stephanie started telling me about her plans for this deck, probably mid midway through last year. And time goes by so quickly. I was, I was amazed that it's uh, already, um, you know, in, in the prototype stages. So we've got this important information about Heartwood. Hello and thank you for accepting this prototype copy of Heartwood, taking time out of your busy schedule. To review the cards means a lot to us and we hope you'll love them. So here's the information. On April the 19th, I'll send a link to my email subscribers that provides comprehensive details about the deck, what to expect before we open pre-orders on May the 3rd. I knew there's a 19th somewhere in there, but it's May the 3rd. That's when people will be able to order the deck on threetreestarot.co.uk. We anticipate dispatching decks around September or October. Should you wish to share details about the deck on social media, blah, 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 blah. That's things for us as content creators to, uh, to implement. Um, and then she just says, please note that the final version of the deck will have rounded corners, slightly more saturated colours, and will be housed in a beautiful inbox, uh, embossed top box. And I'm just going to grab one here because I've got some of their uh, boxes anyway. And they really are uh, beautiful. These are the kind of, uh, um, I know a lot, not everybody likes top boxes. 
but these are good quality tuck boxes and I love these kind of embossing that they do uh, with them. So that's from their other decks. I'll just pop that back on the shelf. Um, what else have we got? So, um, the Heartwood will consist of 78 cards plus an alternative lovers and devil card, two double-sided companion reference cards with keywords, which is their style, that's what they do, and two blank cards de designed to protect the deck. Um, additionally, there'll be five extra art cards. These five art cards will be exclusive to the first printing of Heartwood only, and all these cards are included in the prototype. Um, um, and then additionally, the cup suit features vessels of various shapes and sizes. So in addition to cups, you'll find uh, colanders, bowls, colanders, bowls, platters and bottles. Okay, so let's, and this is wrapped so beautifully, Law. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to uh, damage it, but it's the only way in, so... We have to, but it's almost like origami, just how lovely this is, uh, this is wrapped. And this is how tarot decks used to come. They used to come wrapped in paper. Before we got all fancy with uh, tuck boxes, etc. I bet you're shouting at your screens now saying, just open it. <laughs> We're itching to see. Oh, I'm, it's just what it is now, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's open that up. Oh, how exciting. Wow, look at the quality of this. Just take the, the cardboard away. Um, so these are the two cards, front and back, to protect the deck. We've got this little, little mouse. I had, well, I've got a coin. It's over in my uh, little box on the far table uh, with a design very similar to this, if not the same. Um, we've got a thank you card. Thank you for your purchase. And the card stock for all their decks is, is wonderful. Really nice matte finish, very sturdy. Um, and you can see it's, it's, a thick, it's a thick deck. Um, that's, what can I compare it to? Let's compare it with Arnatorian's deck, Tarot of Echoes. So you can see, let me line that up there, you can see the difference in thickness. Uh, what's at the back? So these are the, t the cards with the card meanings on. Make sure I'm not turning. Um, so this is quite handy. Um, I think there's going to be like a, an online book. So it says here, you know, you've got four, which is adventure, trust, the unknown. Um, and then each all the way down to, oh, we've got the additional cards here. Unease, discovery, 10, surprise, home. Um, and then you've got your four suits on these cards, so that's really useful for, for your keywords. All right, I'm gonna bring the camera down and we'll have a close-up look at the images. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully that fits in perfectly. Um, so just a reminder, they said that the uh, deck itself will um, be a little bit more saturated in color than this the prototype. So it's the Hartwood Tarot and it's based around this abandoned uh, cottage, Hartwood Cottage, in the middle of the Three Trees uh, Forest. Um, that it, all of their decks are on this, on this particular theme and I love where they, they're going with it. I'd love to see a Fey deck from them actually, I think that would be wonderful. Um, so yeah, so here we've got our little fool is looking at the, the cottage here um, and is about to start his, his adventure, his journey into the abandoned cottage. 
Oh, I love the magician. Look at this. Their decks are so stunning. They really are. Every single card is a beautiful work of art. In my bathroom, I have a picture, uh, a picture frame with three card images in there from the very first Oak Ash and Thorn. Um, and people often comment when they come and use my facilities. <laughs> the High Priestess. Look at her. And we've got this, uh, this rotten fruit bowl and in it are these decaying pomegranates linking us back to the High Priestess. We've also got the Crescent Moon here on there. Uh, just trying to see if there's... Yes, the Magician does have uh, all his tools as well. Look, the sword, the cup, the pentacle, etc. So we've got the uh, the elements, the symbols um, that are associated. And there's this tiny little scroll, look. This is clever, hanging on a thread from the beak. The Empress. Oh, look, it reminds me of Bambi. Oh, look, look at the picture in the frame. And you can see here, look, the shattered glass of the, the windows. We've got the leaves blowing in. Very autumnal feel to this card. The Emperor is a wolf. Oh look, look at the uh, the rams and things in the pictures here. It's really clever. The Hierophant. We have, uh, yeah, we have two keys, don't we? Let me just, is that a second key? That might not be. We've got this kind of moth or butterfly dangling this key. And then we've got our um, little mouse there. The key that opens the window. Oh, look. <laughs> There's a nod there to Oak Ash and Thorn. Because I know that, because that's one of the images that's in my uh, pitch frame, one of my pitch frames. The lovers. <laughs> How cute is that? Look at that. Oh, the chariot. That's adorable. This is just beautiful. Strength, we have the snake here. Notice the infinity symbol on the gate or the door maybe. And the little mouse confronted by the serpent. Here's our hermit. I wonder who's lit the candles in this abandoned cottage. The wheel of fortune on top of this wind up clock. And the cobwebs look. I love how all the pictures, um, the artwork is of animals. Justice, a wise old owl. Um, a hanged mouse. <laughs> Maybe that's how uh, the, in the lover's card did you say there's going to be an alternative lover's card? I seem to remember. Let's have a look. Did I pass by? Yes, of course. Um, so there is the, the lover's card with um, one of the creatures inside the bottle, but then there's this one, which, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one I prefer. And I think there's a, an extra devil card, they said. Here's the death card. 
Wow, look how this is through this dead bird. There's this beautiful rose blooming. Temperance, love the two cups here. There's been a lot of thought that's gone into creating this deck, clearly. <laughs> Clever. And that's our alternative devil card. It looks like the, the bottle's been broken. But still ensnared, trapped in the vines. Here's the tower, that's a brilliant image. Wow, a really powerful image. The star card. <laughs> Little raindrops. The moon. Shining through the bricks, the missing bricks. Oh, it's an old boot. It is fascinating to see what is, what's been left behind and how nature reclaims. Our sun. Someone's poured a pot of tea. <laughs> There's steam coming from it. The judgment card. Looking into the mirror. Little perfume bottles, look. And then we have our our world card with this reef on the outside of the door. I can almost see a face here. I thought that was what I was looking at first. I don't know if anybody else can see the eyes, nose, mouth. And then we have some additional cards that was mentioned. So we have Unease. Discovery. Tend. And Surprise. I think there's one more, home. <laughs> That's a lovely card. And then we go into our uh, miners. I'm just gonna have another sup of tea. So we're starting with our cups. Notice the cup here is kind of like a, an etching on the the wooden, uh, it's like a barn door, but it could be the, the cottage door on the inside. The two of cups, picking at the berries here, and the water dripping from the faucet. The bird bath, look at those three birds, I love that. And we've got the three cups here in ornately displayed on the the bird bath. Four of cups. Five. Cute. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, obviously following the RWS tradition with the three upturned cups and two upright cups. Overturned cups, I should say. The six of cups. I love how the cups are kind of engravings in the environment around them. The seven. <laughs> Eight of cups. And the nine. The old 
old gramophone. Look how there's a pup on each. So clever. And a mouse going around and around. It would, it's almost like there's no one there to wind it up, but maybe the mouse going around on the turntable will make some music or some sound. The ten of cups, we've got the ducks here and the little ducklings in the bath. Page. Interesting take on the page. Our night. Oh, look at our queen of corpse. That's beautiful. King of cups. And then we go into our pentacles. Oh, I love the pentacle suit. And I love the pentacle suits in each of um, their other decks as well. But this is really gorgeous. Again, we've got this kind of uh, cottage barn-like door and the engraving here, the pentacle. But I love how nature is reclaiming. And then we've got these beautiful roses. Stunning card. The Two of Pentacles. The three in the web there, look. Four of Pentacles. Oh, look at this. Five of Pentacles. Got this old gnarly tree it's a full moon there's a little lantern there and the fox is outside of the cottage the six a little bit of water coming out the faucet <laughs> wow there's even washing on the line deck never ceases to amaze me their their products are just wonderful and Adam is such a talented artist and you know to think there's at five extra cards here so 83 beautiful pieces of art produced in the time frame since their last deck is some, some achievement. The knight is the knight of a chessboard. <laughs> Look. The queens are beautiful so far. I mean, every card's beautiful. Look here on the little uh, label. I think it's brilliant that you can do a deck with it on a theme like this, but still incorporate the important uh, symbols. Again, we've got the etching here of a sword for our Ace of Swords. The two. And they're easy to spot really, you know. It's not like you've got to go searching for them, but I mean, you've got the title anyway, but. Five. Oh, look at that, in the hallway. <laughs> the seven. Love that. Eight of Swords. Oh, look at a little face. 
She's got scissors. Scissors around her neck. She's trying to work out. Just seeing if she was tied in, in a way where she could use the scissors, but. I think these strings coming down that's holding these it's almost like a mobile, isn't it, of clouds that she might feel that she's tangled up in. And then you've got the pointy swords all around her. A nine. And the ten. Wow, look at these books. Despair, Sorrow, Grief. That's quite a clever way to depict the ten without, you know, people always get a little upset when there's animals uh, that are pierced by the swords. Here's our page. The owl looking down from the rafters. I'd like to see what's written. Oak, ash and thorn, smoke, ash and embers. <laughs> love it. I love the nods to their previous, that are through the deck. You know, there's lots of nods to their previous uh, decks. And each time you get a deck, it's like turning a new chapter in a bigger story or maybe a series of books, you know, that's around a theme and it's of this forest. Two of Wands. <laughs> Looks like it might have been somebody's birthday before they had to leave. Looks like it's an it's an ornament, isn't it? A decorative ornament. Six. Oh, I love this image. Ah, oh, beautiful. We have a pesky bat for the nine. <laughs> Oh, look at that. How cute. Adorable. The page. A little salamander here for the night. There's our queen. And the king. Love it. Clever, love it. Yeah, beautiful deck. Really, really beautiful. Um, they never, they never fail um, in the quality, um, but also the the fantastic, fantastic artwork. So, just a reminder of the key information: the deck will have rounded corners. It will be slightly more saturated than you're uh, seeing here. Um, it will come with the nice tuck box and that's embossed. Um, and May the 3rd is when uh, orders, I think that's about six weeks from now. It's, oh gosh, it's May, only six weeks away. When you'll be able to uh, order the deck, pre-order the deck for release later in the year. In the description here on this video will be a link to Three Trees Tarot. So do go over to their website and uh, find out more about the deck. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for uh, a special cup of catch up and cards because it's the seven year channel anniversary for the Hermit's Cave. So um, it will be a cup of catch up and cards with a difference. So hopefully see you there. Have a fantastic end to your week, everybody, and a lovely weekend. Namaste and blessed be.